MMA Boxing Talk here. This is a post-fight video for Alexander Volkanovski versus Max Holloway. Volkanovski wins the title. Um, looks fantastic in that fight, you know. Very one-sided fight. Um, you know, Holloway didn't get his ass kicked, but it was very one-sided. You know, he took a lot of, lot of damage, a lot of leg kicks. Um, Volkanovski really showed uh, a very, very high-level high fight IQ game plan uh, and he executed it very well his striking you know every aspect every area of the fight where it took place he was in control he was doing the much better work he wasn't allowing Max Holloway to get going to get anything you know to get into his rhythm or his groove whatsoever he was putting you know a stop to that with you know beautiful overhand rights hooks um and those leg kicks those leg kicks were everything especially in those first two rounds i i think he landed like 45 he actually broke the record for featherweight leg kicks in a fight um and that was sometime in in the third round or the second round uh, i think he ended up landing about 68 or 72 or whatever leg kicks in the end um incredible he was in control. I had to rewatch this fight because, uh, you know, watching it live, I, I wasn't, I guess, uh, noticing all the leg kicks. I was, you know, chatting away. We had boxing on as well at the same time. Um, but I rewatched this morning, and Volkanovski was in control. You know, you can make a case he he won the first three rounds, um, and you know the the. So what's interesting is that the last two rounds, Max had more significant strikes, but. Not by much, you know, and in the first three rounds, Volkanovski had way more significant strikes in each round. Um, so I, I personally thought Volkanovski won uh, four, four rounds and Holloway, I, I gave him one. Um, maybe he had, he won two rounds, but I think it was more of a four to one. Uh, that kind of paints a, the, the picture and I know you got to score round by round, but I mean the first three rounds... I personally thought Volkanovski won after rewatching the fight. Um, and then the last two, you know, were very close. They could have won either way. Um, so, you know, Holloway just didn't, like I said, get anything going. Normally, he, even in the, um, you know, the fight where he lost against Dustin Poirier in the rematch, that was a great fight. Um, and, but he had his moments. He, every round, it seemed like he had, you know, those 20, 30 seconds or 15 seconds of, you know, overwhelming Poirier, overwhelming Poirier. That never happened in this fight. You know, Volkanovski controlled it. He dictated it. Uh, Volkanovski, what a fighter, honestly. You know, he can fight going backwards. He can be the aggressor and do well coming forward. He's good in exchanges. You know, uh, cardio. He was talking shit to Max Holloway and still out outlanding him, out striking him in the later rounds. You know, consistently just, you know, putting a pace on him and you know, um, combination punching, very, very impressive with power. Uh, his, he's got the mindset, a championship mindset. And, um, you know, he was talking so much shit and Max was talking back. I mean, it's nothing against Max, you know, uh, he, he had a decent performance. He didn't get outclassed or nothing like that, but he, you know, clearly lost this fight. Um, it was, you know, but I think a rematch, Dana White said he's interested in a rematch, and I personally would be interested in that. I am a Holloway fan, of course, but um, who really else? You know, you're going to fight, you know, Yair Rodriguez, um, Zabit. Max Holloway deserves a rematch, and, you know, it's not like he got out class completely, um, but he just did not win that fight. You know, clearly he did not win that fight. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, very impressed with Volkanovski. What a tactician, a tacticianer, you know, but also showed a lot of grit and he came forward a lot, mixed it up, perf you know, what a great performance, masterclass in my opinion. Um, that's it for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe and uh, check me out on Instagram, MMA Boxing Talk 8 and I'm also on Twitter, MMA Boxing Talk. That's it for this one. Peace.